Good morning, good morning. Welcome back, welcome back. We are back with another video. If you are new, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a returning guest, you know how we do kick off our shoes, like, and share the video. This video is under the Fair Use Act, and the Fair Use Act is in the description box of this video, as well as the About Me section of the platform. The Fair Use Act is used to educate you guys on what we are covering on this particular platform. Really quick, I want you guys to... Follow and subscribe to Swoop, S-W-O-O-P. Only because what I'm getting ready to speak about, I saw on her platform, I was going through, you know, the YouTube feed, and this channel came up, never seen her before. Um, This video is about five years old that I'm speaking of. And in the video, there's a clip of Ryan stating that Nicholas was the one that manipulated Gypsy. Like, how could you say that? Was you there? Are you wearing the evidence? Is Ryan in denial of who it is and what it is that he have married? For him to even make that kind of statement is crazy. Considering that Gypsy did admit that she did recruit Ryan, that she did recruit Nicholas, and that she was the one who brought up what needed to be done with Didi. So why would you say that he's manipulated her? Right then and there, that shows me that Ryan himself is in a very dark space. Even though we get the fact that he's grown to love her and all those different things, how do he have the audacity to now want to hold Nicholas fully accountable. Not even now, because that video is five years old. So Ryan has never really himself even held Gypsy accountable. And this is why I believe that Gypsy knows that she is able to manipulate these men, that she is able to convince these men that it's what she says or the highway, what she says, and later for what anyone else has to say. I was like, what? How are you going to say that it's all Nicholas' fault? Nicholas didn't give Didi, Nicholas didn't give Gypsy his address. Gypsy gave Nicholas her address. Gypsy was the one, allegedly, that stole the weapon in order to unalive her mother. Gypsy was the one who told Nicholas where the bedroom is. So now I'm starting to feel like Ryan definitely got a dark side to him, too, because how could you even say that or even speak on that with all that's floating around? Ryan several times also has made that he doesn't even want to see certain things he doesn't want to see the crime scene he doesn't want to see you know proof or whatever that's been put out there you know i get that he feels that it should have never been floating around or whatever the case in the same sense i feel like chrissy should have never given out information especially when she allegedly possible possibility of her knowing the truth she should have never given it out. Of course they were going to put it out. If they thought that something was wrong. So, we also know that Ryan don't really care for Christy. But, he tied himself into that. The minute he wrote Drip Gypsy. The minute that she responded. The minute that he telewagging on down to the jail and married her. So, Ryan himself is not even wanting to hold himself no kind of accountability. Don't even want to hold himself accountable either to the role that he's played and allowing her to convince him that she did nothing wrong, that she had no other choice. Like, yes, she did. When it comes to Ken, I think Ken is just desperate. Ken is looking for help. Ken is not looking for a wife. Ken is not looking for a baby mother. Ken is looking for help. Now, for the most part, those that know the field, a lot of bartenders do make a lot of money. Most of them on their tips. 
you know, it depends on the scenery, the environment. And I can honestly speak on that. They don't make a whole lot of money. It depends on the night. It depends on the place. It depends on the crowd. And so I do feel like 10 is looking for help. With that being said, that would be the only reason that I feel like Kim would still be allowing her to wear her wedding ring. I know people are saying, well, he don't control her. He don't get to tell. No, it's out of respect. If you are truly done within the other relationship, why would you be flaunting the ring around with the new relationship? Why would Kim be okay with that? Why would Gypsy even want to do that if she really wholeheartedly have respect for Ken? She don't. She wants both of them, and that is probably another reason why Ryan is still lingering around because he thinks that he still has hope because Gypsy. Y'all got to excuse me. He feels like he still have hope because Gypsy has not taken off her wedding ring. The Warriors highlighted that to me, so I want to thank them for that. Um, yeah, they noticed that she's still wearing her ring. Why is that if you really are done with Ryan unless she's trying to still give Ryan hope that he still has a chance of being with her? And why would Ken be okay with that? Now, Ken is out here windmilling, windmilling tooth and nail for Gypsy, but Gypsy has yet to take off her wedding ring. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Should Gypsy take off the ring or should Gypsy go back home to her husband? Will Ryan have her? Absolutely. <laughs> Is Ken looking for help? I believe so, allegedly. Comment down in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. You guys be blessed. Peace.